Okay, this is seriously the coolest commercial I've ever done. So this is it. It's the best there is. 13,000 looks, by color, all the bells and the whistles. Cops! And in this video, I'm gonna tell you how we made it. So the product that we're doing a commercial for this time is video lights. I mean, we could just rename ourselves to Dream Duo Lights at this point because it feels like that's all we're doing. But anyway, these are the Colbor CL220 and CL330 studio lights. And at first glance, they look like the good old bicolor light that we have seen so many companies make over and over again. But that is not the case this time as they have two really cool, unique features that make these lights my daily drivers. So we will get to the technicals later, but now let's talk about the project itself. Itself. So as with every project that we're doing now, the first thing that needs to be done is the script where we write down our ideas for each shooting day, which includes the location, the actors, set pieces, clothing styles, dates, gear list, and so on. Now back in the day, things were a lot simpler. We would find a location, find a model, and just go with the flow, you know, have fun, create something. But now, of course, things are getting more serious, budgets are getting bigger, and thus, we want the result to be bigger as well. So instead of just telling a friend to come over and shoot whatever, we have started to invest a big chunk of that budget into the project. And the first time I really saw the power of this was the Mara short film that Gunders did a year ago. He had a creative makeup artist, he brought props, created a story, and the results speak for themselves. And it's not just that the shots look a hundred times better, but the script also gives a clear idea of what we are going for, making not just the shooting a lot easier, but the editing as well. So nevertheless, pre-production is now a key component when it comes to our work. So for this project, I knew that I wanted to split the video into two parts. The first part would be a story-based cinematic intro sequence, and the rest of the video will be more or less the usual stuff. Filming all sorts of activities, testing out the product, highlighting its main features, and showing what kind of results you can get. But let's talk about that first part, because that is the real reason why I was so hyped about this project. My idea was to create a one-minute short film where some gangsters are dealing this Colbor video light as it would be some sort of a secret weapon or illegal substance. I also wanted to add some dialogue between these characters, which is something that I'm usually afraid of since I'm not very good with the audio when it comes to the vocals, but why not have a little challenge? It sounded like a lot of work at first since usually it's just one actor, one activity and no dialogue, but here, since I had an idea, a plan, a shot list, we were just flying through these shots and the only thing I was stressed about was the weather, but in the end we had a little bit of rain and together with that dark atmosphere and some smoke, it looked just right and the final result looked something like this. So this is it. It's the best there is. 13,000 looks, by color, all the bells and the whistles. It's very good, my friend. The cops! Ah, I really like how this turned out. We shot the whole thing in our skydiving drop zone here in Latvia, and I got this awesome looking Tommy gun replica for like 250 euros, which I will be adding to my prop collection. But yeah, the thing I learned this time was how much easier it is to work when you have a plan. It sounds like a no-brainer thing to do, but since we are more into that run and gun style of shooting, this was a big revelation for me, because while the shooting is usually pretty straightforward, the editing is not, and the script really helped a lot here. Okay, let me tell you more about these Colbor video lights now and why they are my lights of choice at the moment. So first of all, they are light and portable, which as you know is one of the things that we value the most since we are into that run and gun style of shooting. 
They are also super bright. Rarely did we crank that brightness to 100% because even on just 20% power, it's more than enough for most cases. They can also be powered with a V-mount battery only, which is super nice and something that we're going to be using a lot. They are bi-color from 2700 Kelvin to 7500 Kelvin, which is great. And then we get into the features that most lights of this price range don't have. The first one is red and green compensation. Now this is a feature which is exclusive to the CL330 only, but essentially it allows you to shift the color to be more red or more green. Sounds like a little thing, I know, but it gives a lot more options to play with and brings new colors to your scene without the need of an RGB light. In this next scene where we had a drummer playing his kit in this warehouse, you can see that the light is way more orange than your typical bicolor light and it looks so much more epic. And the final cool feature is the app control, because usually, whenever it comes to the app, we make a sad face, because unless it's DJI or Aperture, the app is always super slow, buggy, the connection breaks as soon as you quit the app or take a call. But surprisingly, that is not the case here, as the app works just like it should, and as soon as I got these lights, I've only used the app to control the brightness, the temperature, because for the first time ever, that makes things a lot faster and more efficient. Seriously. I was filming my color grading masterclass recently and had these lights on standby for two weeks straight and as soon as I woke up I could go into the app and turn everything back on without ever needing to touch the physical controls on the light itself, which was a pleasant experience. The only negative thing I could say about the product are the effects, which are not that great. Even things like lightning look odd, but I don't really use these effects anyway and I guess they can be fixed by a software update. Oh, and this is not a sponsored video by the way. They told us that it would be cool if we make a behind the scenes video, but I'm not following the script here and I get to say what I want. So after the mafia scene was done, the rest was pretty simple. So we did a studio scene with Katrina where we shot a bunch of portraits, details, close-ups. Then we rented a tennis court and shot some action there. The only problem was the mosquitoes which were super annoying and ruined a bunch of cool shots. And then the final scene, like I said already, was the warehouse with the drummer. So a really cool project overall and a great product which I will continue using. I have used these lights for more than two months at this point because we shot the whole project during August but it took a while for Coldboard to post it. I mean, they liked the video but the post got delayed for some reason but yeah the lights are super nice nothing bad to say really and if you need some cool bicolor lights for your own production there is an amazon link down below to their official store and if you buy these lights using the link you're also supporting our channel and helping us realize more of our creative ideas so that wraps up this little behind the scenes video now i want to talk about the progress of our masterclass, which just got super delayed i mean it's almost been a year at this point and i'm sorry that you guys have to wait for so long I was struggling a lot with imposter syndrome where I just thought, who am I that I can suddenly teach something like that and I'm still so young and all these bullshit things which kept me from creating not just the masterclass but content in general. So I was kind of stuck in my head overthinking stuff for the last year. But yeah, now we are finally into the process of shooting and we are already halfway done there and the final product should arrive soon. I will create a full video about this stuck in my head situation soon as well. But yeah, that's a little update on that. I mean, once again, I'm sorry that this is taking so long, but I really just want to deliver the best I can. That's also one of the reasons why I was just so stuck in my head and overthinking stuff. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching as always, and you know the drill. Peace out.